Uh, what is going on YouTube? It's one on the X-Ram here on my bike on the Aprilia. I'm gonna go take out the mountain. I decided to uh, move the microphone around, so I'm testing out to see what the audio is like. I also have another camera right there, uh, so I'm hoping to be able to get some cool side view and a little bit better audio of this bike uh, than I can get through my helmet. So we'll see how this goes. If my voice comes out shitty, then I'll just be a, a quick little music video going up and down the mountain. If it comes out good, then I'm going to do my vlog that I planned about the... If it comes out good, then I'm going to do the vlog that I have planned, which is talking about the things I love about this motorcycle. You know, I, I start off with what I don't like about it, and that's because they make themselves apparent pretty quickly. And I can go, yeah, I definitely don't like this about it, or I do like uh, the, the things that you like. Actually, take a little bit of time to kind of get used to the bike. And sometimes the dislikes might change to likes, or they'll probably stay dislikes, like, you know, the foot peg pipe. But we're gonna go over some of the things that I, uh, I love about it. But first and foremost, I love the quick shifter. I know I mentioned with these rear sets, it kind of felt as though the mechanical uh, engagement, disengagement wasn't there. So you couldn't tell if you were pressing down on it or not. I've gotten used to it. You know, I've gotten used to how it feels and how it's supposed to feel. Now with the exhaust, I can hear it better. So, there's that. Come. What are you doing, man? Fucking hell. People are just stupid. I was slowing down and letting him over and he fucking stopped. I'm not stopping in the middle of the road. You're a fucking idiot. Man, people are dumb. Wow, go off my video. Anyways, back to the things I like after people are just really dumb. I was talking about the quick shifter and like I said, it didn't seem as though you could tell that it was being engaged or disengaged, but you can. Uh, with, like I said, with the exhaust, there's definitely a click, and I think the tune also changed how that feels uh, with the motor and whatnot. So, I love the quick shift. It's buttery smooth, because I'm a quarter throttle, uh, and there's some throttle, and I go, I'm down to fourth. I'm up in fifth. I'm in sixth. <laughs> it's just that easy. It's crazy good. And the Ducati doesn't do that. And I was actually talking to somebody that uh, is a little bit more in the know as to why, you know, the Ducati doesn't do the quick shifter that way. And it's just because of the way that the motor is actually tuned. It doesn't hit. It doesn't quite hit the same points to where the engine's like, yeah, we can definitely shift or. Uh, tension and whatnot on the transmission. There, there's a lot that goes into it that I uh, can't speak on because <laughs> I just don't know. The quick shifter is just it's just so smooth. It's so easy and the gear changes are just instantaneous. It's like you know dual clutch system in a car and these high-end cars it's very similar and to how good they are. This woman wants to go. I mean damn girl. <laughs> what else do I love? The throttle. Uh, one of the downfalls, I say downfall, but one of the complaints or negatives against the regular RS4 is the lag that you feel when you get on the throttle. And this to a point actually had that as well, but since the tune, this exhaust, since the tune, that lag really isn't there anymore, or pretty much at all. And when I say lag, you know, you roll on it and it just, it picks up, but very, 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 very gradually. And not what you'd expect. And not what you would hope it would, you know. So, 
that lag's gone. It, 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 as soon as you get on it, it, it picks up and it's still uh, not a harsh acceleration. It's still good and strong, but it's very linear feeling. You know, the Ducatis are very abrupt and sharp. Uh, whereas this doesn't have that abruptness, which, you know, makes it an easier bike to ride uh, all over the place. And uh, rolling on the throttle, coming out of turns, you know, with no lag, you, you pick up right when you expect to, and it just allows you to be smoother. And I love that. I've mentioned the mirrors on so many bikes, and they've all... <laughs> Mostly Ducatis have all sucked. These work. They don't vibrate the shit. There's there's definitely an isolator behind the mirror. You can tell. It actually works. I can look behind me and not see a jumbled mess behind me. It's incredible. Yes, I know I'm on a bike. I could have gone around them. Anyways, but the mirrors, they work. Holy shit. Do they vibrate a little bit? Yeah, sure. A little bit, not a lot. I mean, I can look down here and see my camera timing me, so it's not enough to actually throw me off. Again, it's you know, little things like that uh, I love, but, you know, they're, <laughs> to me, they're important. I, I use my mirrors. I like to look behind me. I like to gauge you know, what was going on behind me and uh, keep an eye on things. It bugs me with my wife's mirrors because they're, you know, down below the handlebars, which we did because it looks cooler. <laughs> it doesn't function very well, but I don't like not being able to see behind me, do a quick glance and see what's there. The sound. Oh boy, the sound. With this new exhaust, wowzers, does it sound good. And you know, I did a quick little video uh, before and after. Before it sounded really good because uh, just the mic I was using, I was using a nice external mic. Whereas uh, I, I gotta get my external mic set up and kind of do the same thing I did with the old one. Really give you a good idea. Because in the helmet, it's, it doesn't pick up as well. But it's got, I don't know what it is. It's, it seems like it's a faster to it than what the Ducati is. It seems like there's a longer a longer stroke to it, I guess you could say. Yeah, stroke. It just seems like a, it's definitely a different sound. And with the exhaust, it sounds more angry. It's got a little more harsh bass to it. <laughs> That's the lack of a better way to describe it. It's not tinny, it's not raspy. It's got just this really angry bass sound to it. That, oh man, it's unique to Aprilia. And you know, I got a buddy of mine that's got, you know, the SC Project exhaust, and that motherfucker is loud, obnoxiously so. And I, I didn't want to go that route. Like I said in my last video, I love OEM stuff. I know it's more expensive, but. You know, Aprilia made that tune specifically for this bike. They made that exhaust, and they tuned that exhaust for the motor, you know. So, there's a lot that went into making that exhaust. And the problem that I see a lot is that, yes, it fits an RSV4. This isn't a normal RSV4. It's, a, it's got the 1100 motor in it, so it's got some tweaks to it. It's been tuned differently. So to put something that fits a regular RS before, will it work? Of course. Is it going to work as good? You know, that's debatable. And you can debate it with dyno runs and stuff like that to really prove one way or the other. But the other thing that I've heard is that the can that you get from Aprilia isn't the same that you're going to get from somewhere else. Like I said, a third party. There's slightly different materials in it. Uh, which make it uh, cheaper. And uh, am I knocking anybody? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm giving out information that was given to me. I'm passing it along. Thank food for thought. You're going to go wrong with the $2,800 uh, full exhaust as opposed to the $3,500 that Aprilia sells? 
probably not even notice it. Probably not. But I like having that warranty. I like having that customer service. Yes, customer service is really is hard. But when you have their stuff, it's hard to argue with. Anyways, get off, getting off track here. <laughs> what else do I love about this thing? The brakes. You know, I've I've always been very critical of brakes because everyone focuses on power of things. They focus on the power of the bikes. They focus on how much horsepower or torque they produce. And while that's a great thing, great number, what a lot of people neglect are the braking systems. And to me, if you don't have a solid braking system, all that power means nothing. Because you can't come down from it. You can't manage it properly. You just, it's, it's not, you can't use it. It becomes too dangerous to use because you can't slow down from it. Whereas if you start and you have a very, very, very strong platform for brakes, but it was 50, huh? I didn't want to pass you because I've got to pull over. But the braking systems are very important, and I, I mean, I see some cars all the time. You know, they they have normal brakes, but then they put in like a thousand horsepower. Uh, you're missing something there. And every once in a while, they'll they'll upgrade the suspension, and that's perfectly fine. But if you don't upgrade the brakes, what the fuck's the point? There's no point there. So, the brakes on these I love because while they have that bite that I like, uh, they're not as intense as a Ducati. They're, when you grab them, they don't <laughs> bite you down a little bit. They, they engage and then they're progressive. And I've learned that having a little bit of progression in your brakes with a bike like this or a Ducati or whatever, is really 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 good definitely something you want to have and I'll touch on the suspension uh, it's it's supple uh, which is surprising as shit because it's you know it's a manual suspension I did not expect it to soak up the bumps the way that it does and I'm getting hit by like fucking bees or something but we're gonna head up the mountain hope you like this quick little video I have about the likes of this machine I'm gonna pull over here and set up my cameras you all have a good one. I'm gonna wait for some cars to pass. And we're gonna have some fun. So, we're gonna stay tuned for some more videos. I got time for once. <laughs>